All right, and number three is quite a tricky one, so let's pay attention to it because it's very common. Uh, so Cam bought a cell phone, and it's on sale for 30% 30 30 off. So let's circle, 30% uh, off. If the sale price is $239.89, what was the original price? So they're giving you the sale price, and they want to know what the, the price was before you took it on sale. So this one is a little bit tricky. So we're, we've already taken the 30% off, so we're going to look at the other percent, which would make it 70%, because 30 is off, but it's still 70%. 70 so the opposite. Um, uh, and we want to know what the whole price or the original price is. So we're going to say that's the uh, X, we, it's the unknown. But we know what the sale is. It's $239.89. Uh, so we're going to set this up. And it's a little different, so you may need to watch this a couple of times. So we're going to get rid of the decimals. And we're going to say 0 0.7 and times X is X equals $239.89. Now, we're working on the x side here, and what's happening? Well, the x is being multiplied by 0.7, or 7 tenths. So we're going to divide by 7 tenths, and when we do that, we're going to divide it on both sides. And you get x equals, and stop, drop, divide here, 239.89. And the first problem you're going to run into is you can't have a decimal out here. You have to have it as a whole number. So we're going to multiply by 10. And when we do that, we have to multiply this side by 10. And so when you divide that, um, you get x equals $342.89. So that means the original cost for that D, uh, that cell phone was $342.70. It was on sale for 30% off, so he was able to buy that for $239.89. You may need to watch this example a couple of times. Thank you.